I just want to show a really neat tool that I've been using and testing recently called Twain. Essentially, it's like a co-pilot for writing really solid cold emails and also follow-up emails as well. Um, it also works as a Chrome extension, but I'm just going to use the uh, in-editor, in-browser editor. Um, just for context here, I'm actually writing a couple of uh, example emails to use in another piece of content, uh, but I'm going to paste it in here and show you what uh, Twain can do. So just pasting in the message. This is the message that I've written, got it in a Google Doc on the side. And now it's scanning the email and it's looking for ways it can be improved. And on the right hand side, it's saying to make the opener more relevant. So you can see that I've got two sentences here. It's actually quite wordy. Um, it's already get, got a pretty good score of 95. Readability is high and it takes less than 29 seconds to read. But it says here to make my opener more relevant or, or relevant. And what I like about Twain, it also gives me the reasons why it's making these suggestions. So even if you're uh, an experienced cold email uh, copywriter and you've been sending cold emails for a while, I still uh, recommend using a tool like this just to run it through um, at the moment that the product is free as well. But see the suggestion here. Notice that your service primarily relies on SEO and content to generate leads. How are your keyword rankings affecting this strategy? Um, that's a much more punchier way of saying what I've said in two sentences. But I can see a different alternative as well. So given your services price point, it seems like you're using SEO and content as a prime way to drive in my leads. Notice that only one keyword seems to be making the top 10. Okay, so I like this way uh, of uh, this way it's rephrased. Uh, let's have a look at the next one. So notice your strategy prioritizes SEO and content lead generation, yet the keyword positions could be improved. That's a lot more to the point. Uh, perhaps I could use that. Um, and add a little bit more to it. But I'm gonna go with the, the second one, which is still keeping the length, but um, it has improved the, the email overall. And now I can go in here and improve it even more. I can test out a couple of other sentences. Maybe it's the call to action I wanna change slightly. So I'll do it in the editor until I get a perfect score, until I'm happy with what the email copy looks like. Another thing that's great with Twain is you can actually select whether you're writing an email or is it LinkedIn and the purpose for those messages. Is it the intro, so that first email, or is it follow up or breakups? And also I can personalize it. So I could put in my client information or even my information in here to give it context to use when putting together the email. Um, so yeah, definitely worth checking out Twain. I've been using it and testing it a lot and uh, I've really been enjoying it so far.